This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Baltimore back here with another episode of Resident Evil Zero. Or, sorry, Resident Evil Zero. In the last episode, we found our, we beat the man bat and uh, made our way down into the laboratory. But now uh, things are dangerous as uh, there's Marcus clones all over the place. And, uh, well, gotta get our ball, uh, we gotta get our fireballs and get down there. Or grenade launchers, whatever. Uh, Ira went to go grab that off screen. It only took me a, a few seconds, but still. Uh, I found something out while, while doing this. I, I thought, I could swear I hit the examine button on this thing, but I guess I must have forgotten to do it. But on the case here, I was like, I was wondering, how do you find the code for it? Well, it says, it's locked via combination lock. Looking closely, you notice the number's 385 written in the corner. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to, uh, figure that out, so, yeah, I don't know. I could swear I s examined it. Maybe I did, and I just skipped over the 385 um, option, but uh, yeah, inside is the uh, gun parts, so now we can take any one of the uh, ooh, nice, a, various, a set of various parts consisting of a scope and a scope mount. Equipping these on a handgun will gracefully increase the gun's firing precision. So, I, you can put this on either, um, Billy's gun or uh, um, Rebecca's gun. I don't know if e either one has does more damage than the other. I don't think it does. So you could put it on either or, depending on the weapon you use. I'm going to give it, since in this run I've been given, uh, having uh, Rebecca do all the handgun stuff, I'll just let her um, use it. So yeah, there's the, now it's got more precision. Yeah. But anyway, I, I went to go get the bottles off screen, so... Now that I can fight that Marcus clone. And apparently you can beat the Marcus clone with only two of these bottles if you throw the bottles right. If you, I guess if when I was first fighting him, I would just keep throwing the bottles whenever. But I guess if you give it a second and let the other bottle do like its fire damage, you can do it. I don't know if I'll be able to show it on screen. But uh, uh, I also found out you can run away from the bat the first time when the boss encounter. Um, I guess I just got unlucky the first time I fought him every time he kept grabbing me. But apparently you could just run out of there if you're fast enough. I mean, you still have to beat him because otherwise he doesn't break the ceiling to get the um, hook shot to open the turn on the power and everything. But thought I'd, thought I'd mention that. All right, goo dude, come on out! Oh, come on! All right, up there again. Oh, come on! That was delayed. Okay, I didn't... I didn't get it. Man, am I in danger now? No. Okay, good. Wasted a bottle, but... That's fine, whatever. That's really annoying. I was like, I... I it, you could tell she looked at him when I threw the bottle. So I was like, oh, it's gonna hit him. Nope. Mm -mm. Yeah. I mean, I still like this game, but I've been noticing a lot of a lot of problems with it playing through. I don't even remember complaining as much when I played the other Resident Evils. I think it's because I was more familiar to those, so I didn't mind when certain situations occurred or something. The pain depicts a woman embracing a demon. Sounds like some old gothic stuff there. Looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set? I don't... I assume that's the red one, which is... Uh... Is it this one? Uh, sulfuric acid, or stripping agent which I have the green right now which apparently you can use it but all it does is it gets rid of the chemical if you decide to use the uh, the thing oh I also noticed that uh, um, the switch option here for the outfits I don't think I have any unlocked do I oh I guess I do huh this must be for the remastered version actually that's pretty cute the western one I eh, will stick with classic for now just to kind of keep it is she the only one with an outfit? I don't know, I guess Billy does too, huh? Let's see what he's got. Oh, he's got a cool guy, a cool face. And prisoner. I wonder I wonder why Rebecca has the most uh, outfits, huh? Hmm, it's odd. I don't know what could... What, why the, why that would be like that. Anyway. You don't be like that, but it do. Oh, nice. Sweet. Let me... uh. Let me leave that. And we'll combine these two together. And we'll leave it there for now, but uh, yeah, we'll definitely need that for Billy. Or do I need... 
No, but uh, we do need some more healing, that's for sure. Alright, we'll leave that there. Keep the balls since we've been running into multiple... Um, there's a statue of a woman here. She seems to be staring at a door. That door, right there. This door is decorated with a bust of Marcus. There's a space in the base. <laughs> space in the base. Flagging with the dragon. Um, for some kind of object. No one's going to get that flagging with the dragon reference. Um, do I want to make sulfuric acid right now? Or a stripping agent? Well, we'll wait. Oh, there's a device for ending a combination, but it's missing a part and can't be used. Okay, so we need... Hmm. Yeah, we need we need something right now because I don't have... Because upstairs we have the... Um, we also have a bus that Billy has to, to go through as well. And let's see, can I... Let's, uh, let's see before. It looks too high to jump down. I'm trying to think if... Uh, let me grab the... Um, Hookshot and see if there's anything I can do here. I don't think so, but actually, do I have the room to even carry it? No. Okay. Well, this is the safe room anyway, so I'm gonna drop off screen. I probably should grab that heal, that spray from the previous room, and uh, and dropped it off in here. But that because you know, best place to drop stuff off is uh, safe areas. That you know are probably not going to get attacked, or not having an encounter in them. Um, yeah, I left the thing in there. Yeah, we need we need to find something to insert into the gas chamber room. We need something for the busts, and and then something to do with the uh, uh, the leech um, thing I sent downstairs. That might not even be needed to be dropped, but... Alright. Yeah, I don't think the hook shot will do anything there. I think all it said was just too high to jump, and I don't think there was anything that would really... that would really be worth it. Because usually it hooks forward, or up, you know, so... No, okay. Didn't think so, but I thought I'd... I thought I'd double check really quick. Go and leave that there. Okay, so with that in mind, let's see, that one says it has that, that's missing the device. Okay. Let me see. Because we, well, we can't. I could leave. Well, no, there's. You couldn't have. You can't have both people go up there because then no one would have a way to get back down. I was thinking almost for a second. I was like, oh, maybe I could just send the hook shot down. I was like, no, because then no one would have a way to get back up. So, really, that's the only thing I could think of that would be that would need to be down here. So I wonder if I need to put the. Um... Let me see if I can put something into the. Um... The leech thing. This, uh, I'll admit, this part of the game is a little. Um, I'm a little unfamiliar with. I'll admit. Okay, can't do anything with that. Or at least it didn't say anything. So. So that made the stripping agent. Okay, yeah, so we, oh, I should have shown the stripping agent, but allowed to uh, unlock, um, um, re release the, release the goo, I mean release the, uh, a blue sculptor spe uh, specific, specially shaped in the form of leech, but, uh, you yeah, know, we know where we need to put this, so. Alright, let's, actually it'll probably ask me to just do it as I click on it. Oh, never mind then. Okay, I'll have to use it. Alright, show me what's inside. The lock has been released. Go into the insanity that is Resident Evil. Alright, what's behind this door? I mean, I know this game isn't complicated and it's pretty obvious to go to where from the next, but 
you know, doesn't mean I know, doesn't mean I can't get stuck for uh, a few seconds. A large painting hangs on the wall. The title reads, Woman in Love with a Dead Man. Uh, necrophilia, dude. The random fan going on is not uh, not giving me good uh, good vibrations here. It's not giving me good exaltations either. Input regulation coil. Well, let's take a look at it. There's something else here. Is there? Oh, a picture. There's something written on the back of the photograph. To James, to commemorate your graduation, 1939. Ah, an old version, of, old picture of Marcus, huh? Okay. Well, thanks for the cinematic for that, I guess. Let's take a look at this uh, thing. Necessary to get a cable car, maybe. Oh, we're going to need this for to get to the next, the final area of the game. Mysterious objects are floating in the water. <laughs> Probably leeches, or bodies, or bones, whatever. It's an unlit fireplace. It looks like it hasn't been used for a long time. Oh, more bullets. Excellent. Oh, let's say we've got more bullets. Nice. I've been eating those for a while. Anything else in here? Now, it's too early to send this up to Billy. I wonder if I should leave it right now or send it up to him now. Mm. Well, I'll drop what I drop if I need to in the next room. Mm. Dead zombies, huh? I wonder if they're going to get up and have some fun. The jar looks a bit to be an antique. It's full of dust. Uh-oh. Okay. I didn't hear him, actually, until he stepped on screen. Not even, I mean, I'm wearing hear, head, headphones, too, which means you think I would pick up immediately on the sounds of a zombie moving, but maybe it took a while for it to activate or something. But All right. Now that I'm aware of you. Yeah, with the scope, you shoot a lot faster than uh, than previously. Oh, well, got a few good stabs on you before you woke up, so. I think it even does more damage, too, to the to zombies um, than before. I'm going to save me some bullets if I can. I think... No, it always carried 15. But yeah, I think it does a little bit more damage and it's faster, I think. I know it's faster, but it, the damage part I'm not sure too sure. In the previous games, I believe it... It, you dealt more damage when you did it. The picture is composed of a four separate sheets. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Uh, despite a few cracks, this pot looks uh, like a valuable work of art. Well, we can't take it with us, so... So what's the point of that, man? A variety of expensive-looking art supplies. For some reason, just looking at them sends a chill up your spine. Well, why do you say that, Rebecca? Well, if you say so. All right, what's this one? Ah, it's the other leech. We'll have to send that to Billy. Okay, well, um, yeah, might as well leave the, the obvious thing for now. I mean, we need it, so we have to come back to it at some point. I just hate leaving uh, the green leech charm. I, I But I hate leaving like important items in a room that I have to come back to, because what if something respawns and all that? A green sculpture spe uh, especially is shaped in the form of a leech. Well, I'll just have to suffer, suffer well if it comes down to it. Yeah, we gotta drop this off to Billy. Hopefully, we don't have any surprises. But like I said, I'm, I'm not as familiar with the final areas of this game, so, um, so I'll probably generally be surprised if something happens. Because I remember this part. I remember bits in the middle. The end is a bit vague to me. I, 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 I vaguely remember how the final encounter goes. But, and I think the zombies should unlock now that I've need to send this up to Billy. I don't know if uh, Marcus Glenn appears, but I guess I haven't gotten up yet. Or maybe they get up if I'm uh, if I'm left in the room by myself. Anyway, let's send this up to Billy so he can open the door. Alright, let me grab... I don't know. I'll just grab the regulator then. 
Yeah, even though that place has a uh, has a typewriter, I don't consider it a safe room because we know we've seen the we've seen the zombie body in there. So, so let me grab. I'll leave it. I'll leave the. I'll leave the regulator in this hallway, even though it's not technically a safe area either. Because I could just, although I could just off. I might off screen maybe go back to the uh, top side, because the elevator is like right over, not too far away, and just drop everything back there. Because that's, I would consider, well, maybe not a safe area specifically, but um, there's not really a whole lot of, you can usually tell certain areas are safer than others, just the way that they're designed. Um, it's not 100% foolproof, I'll admit. Uh, there have been a few, kind of like um, the typewriter, oh, that small room where the monkeys, when the monkeys got released, that there was one in there. That I was actually kind of surprised in that one. That seemed way too small of a area to um, have an enemy in there, but uh, yeah. let's see. Was it red and... Let me look at that file for... Um, was it the... We're going to need, yeah, we're going to need red and blue anyway, so I might as well um, grab the rev chemical. Okay, so let's go back to Billy. Now we need to go grab. I wonder what he's been doing that the whole time. Just like, do 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 Waiting for, waiting for Rebecca, not making myself useful. I know it's a game mechanic, but it's still kind of funny thinking about the characters just waiting there the whole time. You know? Um, it's in this room, right? And go back in here. Um, oh yeah, the one. Uh, oh no, I, I was thinking something else there for a second. Sorry. All right, let's grab the the green thing, the green leech. Sounds like a sounds like a superhero, the green leech, or maybe a villain. I thought I. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I must be misremembering. This door is decorated. Oh, yeah, we, we've already described it, so I don't have to. Lock has been released. That's the that's the green one, isn't it? I wonder if it, it gave me... Which is it makes me wonder why they, they introduced the chemical so early, yet I don't actually have to use it till like, this very moment. I wonder... I was thinking for a second, maybe there's a secret indicating that if you, the reason they introduced it so early is maybe there's a, or maybe you can go back into the mansion and, and use uh, the chemical for something, but, but nothing really comes to mind that I can, that I can think of. I'm just dropping the uh, um, first aid spray off. I know, I, I keep saying I shouldn't do freaking item inventory on screen, but I can't help myself. It's like an itch. It's like you need more cowbell. Yeah. Yeah, I think games where you can collect stuff and move stuff around are my bane because just like my pack rat tendencies kick in and then I'm like, ah, I must have everything, must carry it to the end of the game even though I don't actually need it. I kind of wish I didn't have this mentality. It's definitely, at some times it's a burden, you know, especially when you can't get rid of stuff. But I've already talked about this extensively in a previous episode. If not this game, then a previous game. Sometimes I do so many episodes of commentary, I almost forget like what what order I've done what or what conversations I've already had. I've probably repeated the same conversation five times in this playthrough already. How close are you? Or are you eating something? Well, one of the two. These containers look like they are used to store dead bodies. A strange smell emanates from inside. Hey kid, wanna smell a dead body? Must be one. Oh, one on the ground. God, I really don't want to waste a frickin' shotgun blast on this guy. Ah, oh. oh, dang it. Ah, I, I knew he was there, but I was hoping not to get too close. Okay, I'm not in green, but I guess I'll have to shoot him. Fine. Really? Two shots? For one on the ground? Ugh, I wish I had my... I should have grabbed my knife. Oh, well. God, two shotgun blasts for a guy that doesn't have his legs. Hmm. 
We're going to need this the sterilizing agent to put in that one room. There you go. I have a couple of. Uh, do I have room to grab both of those? No. I should send those down to Rebecca. Well, I don't think the next scene will unlock immediately after using the sterilizing agent. So. Wait, don't I. Don't I need to put these together? Let's see, what's this one? And I don't think I can use that. Is it. Well, actually, let's examine it first. A small tank containing a chemical agent that can be used to sterilize rooms containing a virus. No. Oops. No, that. Never mind. It turns into sulfuric acid. Never mind. I was thinking of something else there. Uh, but yeah, I'll go. I'll go back and grab the bullets and send them back to Rebecca later. I mean, you're supposed to get up at some point, aren't you? I'm just going to leave that there and grab the bullets now and send them back to her. Save me some time. Yeah, see, this whole this whole area is another reason why you want to have... usually want to have your knife on. Yeah, save you a few bits of ammo. I almost want to like watch someone play through this game with just a knife run or something like that, just to see like how it's done. I assume they, I assume most knife runs they skip, they skip encounter most of the like nine times out of ten they ten they skip most of the encounters, except for obviously bosses because most bosses you have to fight. Because usually if you don't defeat them, it doesn't allow you to get to the next area. How would you be able to do it on this? This there's no way you could do it on this one. The bat boss would make it impossible to do just the knife. I could I could not even begin to consider um, doing that boss. Then again, people have done for the first Resident Evil with knife only, and I I would think that would be impossible with against guys like Tyrant. I mean, how do you finish the last final bit of the game where you have to like you have to do enough damage to Tyrant in the final like helipad area uh, to unlock the rocket launcher? Because I I don't believe it's a time thing. I believe it's how much damage you've done to. Hmm. Oh, well, anyway. I don't know why I'm thinking about knife runs right now. I need to beat this game. I need to figure my own run. Oh. Ow! Damn it! I... Yeah, oh, that's what I was mentioning. I, uh, forgot to, uh... I forgot to kill... Or, I had to reload an old file, and I forgot to kill that guy off-screen. So that's what I was going to mention earlier. Uh, whatever. Anyway. It appears to be a device for pumping gas into the room next door. The device is empty right now. Okay, well, let's uh, use the sterilizing agent. Let's see what's inside. Clean that poison. Clean it! Alright. Uh, there's a dead body in there, so that can't be... And I guess, I mean, zombies can survive poison or whatever, so... I'll wait till you get up so I can... Nope, oh, see... Oh, I got lucky and hit him in the head. Nice. It appears to be a device for pumping gas out of the room. All right. Oh, the other guy got up. You can hear him. Uh, it appears to be a device for injecting... Uh, no, that's not what I want. The breeding room key. Hmm. What room... Is that the... Oh, is the door still open? Oh. Huh. Oh, come on! I... I... The fucking trigger. God damn it. Ugh, that pissed me off. <laughs> Fucking garbage. Sorry, I'm a, a little peeved when I get cheap shotted like that. God, three times this episode. Oy. Um, Because the previous room doesn't have... It's got to be that one, that one door that Rebecca can't get into that she needs the... Oh, or this door. Oh, I forgot to look at it. Yeah, sorry about that. I got too I got too annoyed with uh, with getting cheap shotted that I forgot to examine it. Oh well, I mean we know we know to use it. So all right. a number of broken cages lie stacked up. They all bear traces of having been smashed open from the inside. Is this where all the monkeys came from, or the dogs? So are we gonna fight some monkeys? Uh, let's see. 
I just had a shotgun bullets. Dang it. Got to resort to gra grabbing all like the. Um, oh god, hunters! Damn it! Okay. Hmm. Do I have enough bullets for for the hunters? Well, I have the. Well, if it comes down to it, I've got the. I've got a. Um, how many fire things do I have? Three. So I could use that, and I do have a heal. And there's one downstairs that Rebecca made. And there is a red herb and a green herb I can combine if it comes down to it. So I am. Well, I wouldn't say I'm gravy on that, but I'll have to do that. Although I don't remember fire damage being super effective on them. I mean, I'll have to resort to it because I think if I remember last time, I ended up having to use a. Because there's two of them in there, so I'd end up using my whole whole uh, shotgun blast on them all, so. Alright. This is what I get for overthinking it. <laughs> is there more? No, the music stopped. Okay. I was thinking for a second the music's still going. Does that mean there's another another one I missed? BOW report. Research to date has shown that when the progenitor virus is administered to living organisms, violent cellular changes cause a breakdown of the system. Furthermore, no satisfactory method has been found to control the organisms for use as weapons. Clearly greater coordination at cellular level is essential to enable further growth. I conducted a number of experiments in an effort to find a breakthrough. This is my report. Insecta. Perhaps because these ancient animals have been genetically stabled for millennia, when administered with the progenitor virus, they exhibit only explosive high energy growth and increased aggressiveness. It is extremely difficult to envision using them as BOW amphibia. Insect let's see, insect we fought in uh we fought in the crab or crab. Scorpion. Is that would that be considered one? Amphibia have we fought something that was amphibious? I don't think we found a frog. Oh, maybe that's the version of the hunt, early version of the hunter, maybe? Injecting a frog with a virus resulted in an increase in leaping power and abnormal tongue growth. However, no change in mental ability was observed. Furthermore, furthermore an abnormal appetite resulted in a test subject randomly attacking all moving objects. Usefulness for BOW is limited. Mammalia. The progenitor virus was merged with monkey cellular DNA, resulting in an increased fertility. Yeah, we fought in uh, monkeys. The, result the resulting young exhibited improved aggressiveness and some increased mental capacity. As a side effect, visual power is lost, but this was offset by an improvement in hearing ability. Oh, you know, in fact, they we had to fight those mosquito things as well, so... Um, anyway, because... Uh, well. However, they were unsatisfactory as weapons. It does seem no progress can be made without making humans the base organism. Hmm. Let's see. Iron grill's been ripped out. Whatever this must have been frightfully strong, which we fought. It's kind of weird they give us a description after we've beaten them. And then we fought them multiple times. This cage is about the same height as a human. You wonder what they were raising in here. Um, come on. Pick it up. Game. There you go. The dial. We need to give that to Rebecca. But first, she needs to grab those... Uh, um, uh, bullets I gave her. Yeah, I'm almost out of shotgun bullets. Man, one of the few games to make me almost run out of healing as well as ammo. I am almost completely out of ammo. That's never happened to me before. Yeah, I, I'm so I I so hoard stuff in these games that like the the one time the game and a game actually almost makes me utilize everything I've got. It's uh, kind of impressive, really, when you think about it. Well, anyway, let's uh, switch back to Rebecca. Hopefully, the uh, hopefully that zombie in there doesn't activate. Although it's not like they could call for help anyway. It's not like we can get to them, you know. Even if he was like, "Help," you know. Although we could just use that time to swap out our uh, uh, swap out uh, just sw swap party members or whatever. Okay, now that I've grabbed that, let's send the dial. Uh-oh. I knew he was going to get up. I knew it! I knew if you leave a character in there, they'd do that. Ha, game. I, I know your tricks. And let me guess, as soon as I switch back to Rebecca, that one zombie's going to get up at that point. Yeah. More 
wasting of ammo. But luckily he just went down in one shot instead of multiple ones. Yep. Freaking knew it. This is what I get for leaving characters in the rooms. I wonder if that. I wonder if they only activate if you switch uh, to a party member. Um, if you only switch a party member in uh, this room specifically, like if you don't do that, they don't. They don't raise up. Well, I knew it, but I didn't. I, I, I did it anyway. Well, it was best to show you folks that that's a, that's how that can kind of work in certain areas. Anyway, we get the dial. Alright, let me look at the item. It looks like an ordinary dial. It's similar to those found on safes. I know I'm going a little over for recording, but make up for me kind of dicking around a few minutes here. I'll have a little bit longer of an episode. Not by too much, because I still have to render this and all this before going to bed. Luckily, my computer's processor is pretty quick, so I can usually get within the hour. Uh, that's a benefit of having a really high processor. Rendering videos take, doesn't take as long. Well, at this at this level of uh, 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 the level I'm recording this at is quite high, so the device is working again. Enter combination. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No, we need a. Uh, whoops. We already killed everyone in here, so we shouldn't be attacked by that. The file I need is. Is it this one? No. Maybe it's leech growth. Uh, let's see, four, eight, six, three. I don't know if that's the actual code, but. Okay, so I forgot if it. I think it's. Oh no. Four. Eight. Well, this ain't like an actual lock, because you'd have to, you know, left, right, left type of thing. But the door is now unlocked. Yep. I mean, I might have figured it out without the color coding, but it makes it a little bit easier to to go back through old files and do that, so. Now this is more like it. Billy here. Billy, I found an aerial cable car. We can get out of this place. Good, wait there, I'm coming. Roger, the sooner we get out of here, the better. Out. All right, well, actually, we can just swap to swap to uh, to Billy. Let's take a look around before we do anything. There's a lever here, pull it. Not yet. Yeah, Billy's like, hold on, and I'm like, no, you can't hold on because you're upstairs. Let's see what's in here. It doesn't seem to be getting any power. All right, whoops. Sometimes the camera shift kind of surprises me. Uh, that might be the... I'm just trying to see if there's anything else in here. Okay, just making sure. Let's climb up these stairs. Or, stairs. Ladder. Man, when you're tired, you start making like pretty obvious mistakes, don't you? Yep, and that's the same room because of that, so... High, too high to jump. Alright, let's swap to... Billy. And then go in there just to activate anything, and then I think we'll call it an episode after that. Uh, okay. Well, now it makes me wonder where we need to use that sulfuric acid combination. Maybe it's either one or the other. Maybe you don't have to use um, both of those. I feel like I'm missing something like it might be just something like hidden like oh you don't have to have it but if you did it would be awesome you know that type of thing oh step in there yep hey Rebecca no nothing okay but she said get like wait for me I'll be right there and then and then they don't say anything or do anything fine fine all right let me turn maybe flip the switch maybe they'll what I need. 
There's a letter here. Pull it. Pull the lever, clunk, crunk. Oh, there we go. Yay, the team is back together again. All right, well, now that Rebecca and... Oh, hello. What's this? An output regulation coil. Probably need it inside the, uh, inside the card itself. But with Billy and Rebecca finally back together after their harrowing little experience here in the laboratory, they need to get this cable car going and on to the next section. Will they be able to put it together and get on their way out of here? Or does the game have a few more tricks up their sleeve? Find out next time in the next episode of Resident Evil Zero. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.